Hello my fellow barbarians and welcome to this preview of Fantasy General 2 Invasion. Fantasy General was originally a war game from the 1990s for people who felt that Panzer General was a bit too much World War 2 and didn't enough have enough fantasy and magic. It threw in wizards, undead and just for the hell of it mechs as well. More than two decades later it's getting an unexpected second wind in the form of Fantasy General 2. Set 300 years after the first game, you'll be commanding armies of fantasy warriors as the son of a barbarian chief, trying to prove yourself to your father and to your clan. You'll fight hex-based battles again, but this time with an evolving army of rookies and potential champions, each a sum of their experience, abilities and weapons, rather than being defined by their type. And if you ever wanted a fantasy Civ game with more in-depth fighting elements without the civilization building part, then this could be a game to check out. Fantasy General 2 is developed by the studio owned by Gravity and produced and marketed by Slytherin Games. The game is built in the Unity engine and does look pretty sweet. The core turn-based gameplay of the original remains, but there's quite a few things such as the narrative and the wider campaign context of the game that have been updated and improved to reflect how turn-based games have evolved. There's going to be lots more strategic decision making about how your armies evolve over time. Units can change roles and class as they get experience. You can gather resources and thus update your units through the campaign. Terrain types and careful preparation can lead to vastly different outcomes depending on how you move your units and your unit types. Wagner, one of the senior developers from Owned by Gravity, has made a number of blogs explaining different aspects of the game that are available on the Slytherin site. He and his team are particularly enthused about the way combat and unit progression have been developed in Fantasy General 2. He states that they have moved away from the simple rock, paper, scissors to a more logical model. And I quote, if a unit has a spear, it can break a charge. That will make it useful against cavalry units, but also a number of light cavalry, berserkers and some animals. You don't simply get, a good, get good against cavalry because you are a certain unit type. So you'll be able to hurl trolls, sh shamans, ancestor spirits, elementals, werebears, stag riders and all sorts of fantasy troops at the opposition. More than 75 unique units could join your burgeoning army, some just cannon fodder, others heroes you won't want to lose. While everything from morale, the terrain, magic and decisions you've made in the campaign will have an impact on the battles, the developers are aiming to make the complexity easy to use and understand. Glancing at the tile and, your weapons of en and, and the weapons of your enemies, you should be able to make an informed decision about whether or not you should engage and what unit you should use. The original Fantasy General flung its universe together, but owned by Gravity says it's taking the world and story seriously in the sequel. It's central to the game, says Wagner. Between missions, you'll be making decisions and heroes and soldiers will react to and factions will have unique abilities based on their backgrounds. The barbarian clans are raiders, for instance, stealing the resources they need, while the Empire has arcane tricks and the ability to summon undead armies. You can see more of the game on the publisher Slytherin Twitch channel, YouTube channel or their website and Slytherin are aiming to release the game this year and it'll be available via GOG, Steam or directly from their website. Thank you all very much for watching. If you do want to see more about this game, please do consider subscribing and ringing the bell to get notifications of new videos and give me a thumbs up if you found this video uh, informative and interesting. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.